Civilization and all its wonders. Science, art, mathematics, medicine, megacities, the internet, space travel, and a global economy. All of them the product of the human mind. But what happens when the cognitive limits which have been chaining that mind since time immemorial are hacked away? What happens when a super-intelligent agent emerges into our world and decides to interact with us? You get an explosion. A cultural, spiritual, and scientific explosion of such mind-boggling proportions it puts the 17th century renaissance to shame. Everything irreversibly changes forever, whether in a good or bad way. This is the singularity. All the great innovations that have come from any field at any time involved an input of thought. Thought which came from a human brain each brain is different and functions differently. The reason a person becomes proficient in a field is because of an optimization process in their gray matter that allows them their unusual insights. This remains true for Leo DiCaprio's acting, J.K. Rowling's writing, Giorgio Amarne's fashion, Anderson Silva's attack combinations, or Stephen Hawking's radiative homologies. If the optimization process that precedes that innovation is discovered and understood, it could be amplified in such a way that would allow further, even greater revolutions in a field. Whatever barrier was previously holding off progress would be smashed, and the achievement bar would be set even higher. And if someone or something came along which was consistently able to set new records in virtually every other field known to men, that event would qualify as a singularity. But how can anyone do that, you might ask? Aren't the limits to the human brain fundamental? Aren't we the absolute best minds that nature has crafted? No and yes. No, the limits to our intelligence aren't fundamental to the laws of physics. Yes, we are the best mind that evolution has so far shaped. But evolution is slow, and natural selection blind. The human condition is barely adequate at sustaining a middle-tech civilization like our own. We still suffer from the same things we've always suffered, only in lesser amounts and to lesser degrees. Science will provide us with something nature never could, superintelligence and recursive self-modification. Whoever or whatever initiates the singularity will control absolute influence over the course our information culture will take. They can shape it to any form they wish. A paradise where the human race is free from death free from wage slavery, free from boredom and misery, or a hellish world filled with terror and suffering beyond imagination. It all becomes a possibility to the one who wields superintelligence. Nothing would be beyond its grasp. But who will initiate the singularity, man or machine? Will their intentions toward us be friendly or hostile? There are many suspects, but no concrete answers.